So guys, the two other recipes are this, so Men's Best Vegan Protein. I'll be adding three scoops of this. I'm going to have them with two of these gluten-free What's up? It's Zoe and welcome back to my channel. I just finished my workout. It's currently one o'clock in the afternoon. Number one, we're gonna do a full day of eating. If you're new here, welcome and I hope you enjoy the workout. I'm sorry, there is no workout today. But check out some of my other videos to see some of my workouts. We're gonna go inside, shower really quickly and then I'll see you guys for some food. Oh, are you a princess? You can't go out the doggy door? He literally waits for me to open this door. Gosh, you're spoiled. Oh, sorry, Rock. Go get your ball. Go get your ball. Alright guys, we are in my kitchen now, so while this face mask is on me, I just have like a few more minutes with it on, you have to leave it on for 20 minutes and it just exfoliates you and just makes you glowy and beautiful. I'm going to start off with a protein shake. I usually do not have a protein shake right after I work out, but it is something that I'm trying to prioritize because I'm the kind of person who, if I don't eat protein, since I do only eat seafood and I don't eat fresh fish all the time, if I don't prioritize protein during the day, it builds up at night and I just have like so much protein to eat and it's just unmanageable. So I'm going to start trying to have just a big protein shake right after I work out. Another good thing about that is usually right after I work out, I'm starving and I'm super hungry right now, but I want to have the protein shake first because what protein is going to do, it's going to help fill you up. Protein shake first, let it settle for 15 minutes or drink it during um, making my meal, which is actually probably what I'm going to do. Probably going to make tacos, I'm thinking is what I'm feeling. But yeah, let's make a protein shake. So I have the Women's Best Vegan Protein. I'll be adding three scoops of this, some chia seeds that I'll be adding, and then I'm going to add almond milk, one whole frozen banana, that's gonna be our carb source, and then a little bit of honey just to sweeten it a little bit. It's actually pretty sweet already from the banana, but I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of this in there, and that's gonna be our protein shake. All right guys, I'm going to be making my tacos right now. So basically what I do is I just saute everything into a big pan, basically whatever I have. So I'm using a whole can of black beans. I have a whole can of lentils. And by the way, both those I drain first before adding into the pot so there's not a ton of liquid in the pot to melt off. I also add a can of green chilies because they like it spicy. And then I'm gonna put some fire roasted tomatoes in there, which is just like a can. I just buy those and then salt, pepper, and kind of whatever else I can find. So maybe some onions, I'm just gonna check what I have in the fridge and then just throw that all into a pan, make sure it's nice and heated up. And basically that's just my taco filling. You can also add tofu if you want to add a little bit more protein. I'm not going to do that today. So yeah, I'm just gonna saute it all together. I'm gonna have two tortillas and that's gonna be my post-workout meal. And then I'm just going to go back to the office, edit a little bit, and then we'll come back out of here for the next meal. Also want to touch on really quickly about intermittent fasting and if I'm doing that. So I I have decided to start intermittent fasting again. Not that I really ever stopped. I just wasn't, I guess, as strict. I would still allow myself to have breakfast in the morning if I wanted to, but I am going into trying to get rid of some fat right now. I do find it a little bit beneficial overall for me and my lifestyle. I just prefer it that way just because I'm really never hungry in the mornings. Obviously, it's just an eating window and then you have a fasting window. So my eating window will be eight hours. I have done six in the past, but I kind of prefer eight, especially since I'm just starting off getting back into it again. So I'm gonna make these tacos. Alright guys, the tacos are all done, so I'm going to have them with two of these gluten-free tortillas, non-GMO, free of wheat, soy, and dairy, um, two of these, and then I also, by the way, added a little bit of taco seasoning into the mixer here. I just feel like it adds a, obviously, a little bit of a better flavor, but basically it's just chili pepper, paprika, cumin, onion powder, salt, pepper. So guys, in terms of how I track this meal, what I'm gonna do is actually split this in half. So the other half I will have tomorrow for lunch or for dinner. That's the other great thing about this recipe is that it does make a lot of food, so if you're obviously eating with someone else, but for me, I'm not because I live by myself and I'm single. So 
I'm gonna portion this off for tomorrow. For the macros for this, I'm just going to estimate them. Basically, it's just gonna be half a can of black beans, half a can of lentils, and then I don't count vegetables or anything like that. I'm not adding any rice into these. I might, I kind of should add rice because it's a high carb day and I did train lower body. So I try to eat more calories on these days, but I'm just not super hungry right now. I'm going to finish editing and just hope that my appetite starts to come. It usually does later in the day. I just have a bigger appetite from like 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. or from whenever I go to sleep. Hey guys, so it is now dinner time and I have partnered with Green Chef Meal Prep Company for this portion of the video. So thank you to Green Chef for sponsoring this meal that we're about to create. So I have the first recipe, which I think is the one that I'm gonna make today. This is the porcini mashed potatoes, vegan and gluten-free. Two servings, 520 calories per serving. Basically everything is right in here. This is everything for this meal. Here and then we have other ones. This is the sweet potato and quinoa jumble. So basically you'll just put this in the fridge and then when you're ready to go, you'll just grab it out and you're set. So guys, the two other recipes are this. This is the Thai tofu curry with noodles and this is the sweet potato and quinoa jumble. So like I said, I'm gonna do the porcini mashed potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Basically all the instructions are gonna be right here on the back. I'm gonna follow this and make a delicious meal. Super excited, I'm so hungry right now. I've been back there editing for the past few hours about a video that's gonna go live, I think either tonight or tomorrow morning. And yeah, so I'm very hungry. Hi guys, I'm actually in my office right now finishing editing this vlog. I actually forgot to film an outro. I hope you guys enjoy that full day of eating. I've been definitely a lot more relaxed when it comes to eating. Uh, back in the day when I first got into fitness, I would always count calories, always count macros. Now, since I've been doing it for such a long time, I do feel like it's easier for me to kind of see, to know what works best for my body because I have done a lot of different diets. So if you are new to the whole fitness nutrition thing, just try different things and see what works best for your body. Like for me, I enjoy counting macros. I don't do it as strictly as I used to do it. I just mostly kind of keep track of my protein. Again, if you guys would like to try Green Chef, I will link all my information below. You can save $50 on your first box. And I hope you guys like this video. Please make sure to give a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to see more full day of eatings from me. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would super appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying my content. And as always, if you have any suggestions of videos you'd like to see from me, please leave a comment below. See you guys next time. Bye.